Hey basketball coaches and basketball players, my name is Alan from Alice Basketball Training and today I'm going to talk to you about my top 5 baseline inbounds plays that I would use this year and of course in future years as well. These are really great against man-to-man -man defenses as well as 2-3 zones because those are the two most widely utilized defenses against a baseline inbound. So let's get down to the clipboard. Let's check these out. So this first play works both against a man-to-man -man and a 2-3. We're going to have player 1 starting a screen down for player 2. Player 2 is going to be popping up and of course he's our first option where player 3 could pass the ball. However, if that's covered, our next option is going to be a screen on player 5. Player 5 is going to be using that screen and he's going to be popping out towards the mid-range or three-point line. This is why I always like to teach all of my players how to shoot a basketball. Now, if he is not open, our next and final option, as soon as player 5 leaves and passes player 1, Player 4 needs to be cutting towards the basket as fast as he can and then if he doesn't get the ball right away what he needs to do is to step in front of his defender so that he has an open passing lane but also an open shot if he was to get the ball passed to him. So we have three options. Player 2 is the first option. Player 5 is the second option, and our third option is Player 4 cutting on the weak side. Now, if Player 4 finds that he cannot get past his defender from the elbow, he may want to start maybe a bit wider so that he has an easier angle to be able to cut off that player. So now this next play works extremely well only against a 2-3 zone. It can work against a man as well, and I will show you both. Now first, we're going to have player 1 setting a screen up for player 5, and player 5 is going to be popping out towards the free throw line extended. He could be the first option to pass the ball to. Now if he gets that ball, he could take that shot. That is an option. However, what we are looking to do here is to set up our offense. What will happen is player 3 will go a bit wider and player 1 will pop out a bit wider to stop that pass from happening. At this time, what I want to see happen is player 1 to set a screen on player 1 again, or just to turn around. He wants to really stay in the same spot and just pivot, really, to be honest. Now player 2 needs to pop up to the top of the key, and this will be a lob pass to player 2. This is our backup option. However, both of these plays are options for this next set, and that is from there either from here or there, it doesn't matter. I want player four to set that screen on player two, and I want player one to go over top, and player two to dribble towards and then pass to player one, because now what I wanna see happen is player three popping out towards this wing after he inbounds that ball, and because now, as soon as he inbounds that ball and he sets his motion out towards that wing, what I want to see happen is with this swing, what's going to happen is this is going to shift the defense over and this is going to be drawing up player four, where now we can pass down to player three for that three-point shot. So now this third play that I'm going to show you works really well against a man-to-man -man defense. We're going to have a screen down from player 5 to player 2. Player 2 is going to be popping out. And we're going to be having not, instead of having player 4 setting a screen down, what I want is player 1 to set up his defender to be screened by player 4 in that high post. Because what I want to see happen is an inbounds pass to player 2. That could be a 3-point shot. I want to see an extra pass to player 1. That could be a 3-point shot. Now... From there, if neither of those shots are open, I want player 4 to go down into that low post as soon as this screen was set and this inbounds pass was done because I want player 3 to now set up his man with a screen on player 4 and now I want player 1 to pass over to player 3 for that 3 point shot. Now if that's not open either, I want player 4 to stay where he is in that low block and I want player 5 to set up his man for that screen so we can get one more pass 
out to player 5 for that 3 point shot. Now this is the next part in this which is at this point we could run a read and react offense which now we have some help defense happening but after this pass I want player 4 to go and set a back screen on player 3 and this could be a cut towards the basket. If he's still covered, of course, read and react. Remember, read and react is very important. Screen away. Player 2 then comes towards the ball. He may be open in the low post. It's all about read and react. I like to teach my players how to read the defense and react. Because you don't really always have to run a set motion or some set plays. You can just say, hey, these are the basics of a read and react. If you're cutting towards the rim, and you don't get that ball, set a screen away for somebody. Or pop back out and set a screen and roll for the ball handler. Or if you've been standing in the same space or same spot for a long time, why don't you go set a screen for somebody else? I really don't want anyone standing still for more than two or three seconds. So when you finish your set or finish what you're doing, if you're here, one, two, three, nobody passed you the ball to, to shoot, Next, what's next? Screen away, screen for, screen for somebody. Cut towards the basket, find an opening, whatever it may be. But that's not today's video. That This video today is for inbounds, so let's get back to inbounds passes, or inbounds plays. Now, if a 2-3 zone defense sets up like this because you've set up a line at the free throw line, this is our fourth play, by the way. What we would like to see is just very simply, player five and two set a screen here, Player 1 set a screen here, player 4 pop up, lob pass in, simple, easy, you got the ball inbounded, we can set up our offense. However, if they are smart and they set up like this or like this, that we obviously cannot do anything at this point. So what I want to see here is a pass, I mean screen, over to player 2. Now what I want to see happen is not player 5 cut, I want player 1 to pop out towards that wing. This is either going to be open for a pass and we can set up our offense or have a three point shot, or this is going to draw out player four, in which case now I want player five to cut towards that low block. There's a reason for this. We really want player five to get that ball in that low block to have a quick basket. However, we can use this to our advantage. As soon as this happens, the defense is going to collapse. Now we can have a pass out to player one. Player three is going to be, as soon as he makes that pass, popping out towards the opposite side. A screen for player one, that's going to draw player one out, or one red out. Pass over to player three for the shot. If player three red gets passed, we can pass down into that low block. And again, player five can seal that man. Nice easy pass again. Again, read and react. I just absolutely love read and react. I like triangle, five out, read and react. Those are the three things I'm really loving right now. So now this last fifth and final play is going to be only used against a man-to-man -man defense. So what we're going to be having is just a simple box inbounds play. We are going to have player two set a screen up for player one who is going to be popping out towards this corner but we do not want him in the low corner we want him between basically those two hash marks he's going to get that ball inbounded to him player two is going to then turn and he's going to set a screen for player three at this point in time i want player two of course player three could have taken that shot but I want player two to go and set a screen for player one. I want player four to go and set a screen for player three. And I want player one to be cutting baseline. Of course, if he's open along the baseline, you could hit him up with that pass. However, what I'm really aiming for is player five to set that screen. Player two to set a strong screen so that now player three has the option to pass over to player one for a three point shot on that side. I hope that these plays help your team win more games. If they do, hit that like button and subscribe, and I will see you guys again next time.